everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Uh, yesterday's daily, this is a, I swear to freaking God, the only dailies this dude, oh, actually, Nick did do the daily today, so no disrespect there. But I was gonna, you know, Nick did the daily and tweeted again, like, it's good to know I'm not so bad at the dailies. I'm not saying he's bad at the dailies, I'm just saying, why is he always choosing the, these, these, well, this is not really that selective anymore. It's been two in a row. I'm just projecting. Um, yesterday we got a zero because we teleported as at the same time that we died. And Luke tweeted me and told me he had exactly the same thing happen, so that's just a known bug. Uh, or maybe not a bug, not working as intended that you would crash, but maybe you die before you teleport and then you ruin your chance of teleporting. Uh, I'd like to see a resolution there, but it, it's a fringe case scenario. Europa at 32,231 today on a run that goes to Mom's Heart. And it got 17,000, probably indicative of maybe like a death on the Mom fight or in Boss Rush or something like that. Uh, Burning Basement 1, Curse of the Unknown as Eve. Let's get going. We start with Evil Eye, which is an acceptable pickup. We also start with, of course, the Razor Blade, which does give us the opportunity to use it early if we want to. I'm probably going to focus on uh, maybe getting to that Curse Room instead, but we need to get a Spirit Heart first. So what does Eve start with? It's just two Red Hearts, right? This is something that I should know by now, but unless you start with Curse of the Unknown, it's like, you know, it's it's not an issue. It's like, do you always look at your uh, your gas tank when you get into your car? Do you, or like the, the gas meter? Do you always go, ooh, do I have enough gas? I guess probably, right? But that's the gas meter is Curse of the Unknown not existing here. Imagine if you got into your car and you didn't have your your gas meter. You'd have to look at it and be like, well, there's no meter to look at, is there? How much gas did I have in my car the last time I went into it? And then you'd be in this situation. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this, is, this has been one of my worst metaphors, I'd say. Um, so I'm just throwing myself down here in the hopes that... We can maybe get uh, just a, I get random spirit heart drop. It's probably the best we could hope for, considering you know we have no bombs, no tinted rocks that I can see. Um, I hate all rocks that I can see from chimpanzee to chimpanzee. I don't remember the tune of it. That's you know the Planet of the Apes musical for The Simpsons though. This is our first eagle eye usage as well. It's like eagle eye is, or not eagle eye. Sorry, uh, evil eye is um, not that. Uh, Useful, but it could be useful if it actually spawned a little bit more often. Maybe I'm just uh, getting some bad kind of RNG here, though. We'll see. Eagle Eye, of course, I was referring to uh, Eagle Eye Cherry. We go way back. He did that song, you know, Save Tonight, Fight the Break of Dawn, Come Tomorrow, Tomorrow I'll Be Ron. It's like he's running away to become, to, to join the Kings of Comedy. Wait, not the Kings of Comedy. The, the, the Blue Collar Comedy Tour, that's what I'm getting. He's Ron White. He's the one that holds the cigar. And uh, he drinks he drinks the whiskey. And he says, my wife! I might be confused about that last part, but I'm not sure. Ruka, I'll let you in in just a second here, buddy, okay? But first, I gotta fight Ragman. He's an intergalactic mummy from the Egypt dimension. And um, he's immortal, except he can die. I mean... I'm kind of pissed, like, I think Ragman has his priorities all wrong in life. He's already immortal, or at least, you know, very long-lived. He's a mummy. Why is he coming back from the, the undead to fight me and risk death? He could just live in peace and harmony with his, his wife and family, you know? Like, uh, it's, it seems like he's really throwing it all at the, at, at the wall here and seeing what sticks. It's not HP, uh, I'm actually a little scared here. Ruka, I, my dog, how's it going? Enter the gungeon. Okay. I mean, if Ragman was like, he's coming back to be the final boss of the game or something like that, you could understand it. But he's just coming back to be like a dude. Uh, that's not our curse room, that is our... It's our uh, shop. So I'm hoping, well, this, let's be honest, this was worth it. But I'm hoping that we don't die when we leave. I can't imagine we would, because I, I did just pick up a half red heart. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, obviously we weren't going to die because we weren't in the Horror of Babylon state. So yeah, that's, that would have been indicative of that. So we got Guppy's Collar, which is pretty good. As long as we can finagle a uh, deal with the devil on the next floor, uh, then maybe we'll have the chance to get a pretty early Guppy transformation. And then we're kind of rolling here, but... Generally speaking, on the dailies, I kind of take a, a Who Dares Wins approach to things, and I'm glad we did there. That is anemic, which is not good enough to get excited about. It's not interesting enough for me to look up exactly what it does. <laughs> I probably should know by now. 
I know parts of anemic. Uh, when you get hit, you leave a little blood trail on the ground. I don't know what it does beyond that, though. Okay, this is actually all right. We have enough money to get a uh, enough money to get a uh, spirit heart from our shop. I'm gonna save our bomb for now. I'd really like to use it to find the secret room, but there may be uh, a better opportunity like this right here. We'll get five cents out of it as well, and the secret room. And now we're up to 13 cents. And we still need to find the shop before we get hit. Let's crack this, see if we get lucky. Okay, that's like 15 cents. I am actually very tempted to pick up that half red heart. Because the half red heart could provide me um, with survivability. And who knows, maybe we come across a champion and he just one-shots us. But hopefully the spirit heart is going to compensate for that. Excuse me, sir. Um, I would like you to get hit by one of my shots, please. Another key. There is a spirit heart. Uh, if possible, I would actually really like to buy the uh, stopwatch. I think the stopwatch is a really, really great item uh, if you're going to be doing boss rush and daily. And I intend to do boss rush and... Uh, not daily. Boss rush and hush is what I mean to say. The question is, will we be able to find the necessary resources? And I think the answer is... Possibly, maybe? Um, we only need a couple of bombs to swing it, but we might not even need a couple of bombs. Like, the bombs allow me to get into Poop Central there, which al already has a, uh, a penny, but then also has at least a, a few poops that we can get to. But also, I guess one bomb right here could be useful. Allow us to get two more cents and possibly, uh, no, not secret room access, but definitely two more cents. So, I'm gonna, oh, that's good. I'm gonna take it real slow here. And, and by a real slow, I mean I'm going to be going as fast as I conceivably can um, while backtracking and hitting up all the rooms. Another key. Uh, there is a tinted rock in here. This room's a little unusual. I don't remember seeing it. And a pride fight could give me an anarchist cookbook. And it did give me an anarchist cookbook. So we actually are going to slow ourselves down a little bit more here. Hopefully we don't Argo fuck ourselves. That's a reference to Argo. Maybe you've heard of it. A lot of, a lot of Canadians have a chip on their shoulder regarding Argo because... It uh, glosses over the fact that, that Canada was instrumental in, you know, saving the uh, the people in the embassy. I know there's another battery charge back there, but I don't really care. I'm just going to book it now. Um, you know, that sucks, but the movie's really good. That's my philosophy on it. Plus, Ben Affleck is not Canadian. You can't have a non-Canadian play a Canadian in a movie. It's just, it's one of the unwritten laws of Canada. The other, but, I mean, that seems shitty, but then... The corollary to that is that if an actor is Canadian, all the characters that they play are Canadian. Every character Jim Carrey has ever played is Canadian. Uh, Mike Myers as Austin Powers, little known fact, Canadian. Also as Fat Bastard, I guess. Um, Canadian. Most people don't know that. It's uh, written into the cons Constitution. Pierre Elliott uh, Poutine wrote it in in the 1970s, back when the Charter of Human Rights was being written. I, that's a little offensive, but I, I can say it because it's my country. It's actually Pierre Elliott uh, Trudeau, but poutine is delicious. All right, we get a couple of bombs. Maybe you look for a second secret room, but most importantly, yeah, that's actually very good. I think we'll not look for a second secret room, and instead not even buy the stopwatch. Like, the, the whole reason I got all that money was to buy the stopwatch, but ah, let's just leave instead, yeah. Good, uh, good choice there. It's okay. Maybe we'll find, like, a sack boy or something like that. The, I have an illustrious history of uh, accidentally fucking myself into a great position on the dailies. It, it has happened from time to time. So if I can pick up uh, maybe sack boy instead, you know, it, it's going to be harder to ensure that we don't get hit on uh, certain elements of this run. But uh, at the same time, it, it can be advantageous if we get, like, a sack boy or a humbling bundle or something like that instead. Yeah, we'll definitely go to this right away. It would be awesome to pick up a goat head. You know, we're fairly consistently staying at uh, enough HP to take a deal with the devil and not feel too bad about it. That was worth it. I also don't think... Well, no, that's not true. I was going to say we haven't taken any damage except for curse rooms, but we did get hit once against uh, against Ragman. Damage is good, by the way. It's, it's like the single biggest predictor of whether I'm going to stress the fuck out on a daily is uh, not really how fast we're going, but rather how fast we can clear a room because... You can you can enter the uh, depths two at 18 minutes and still beat mom before 20 if you're if you're going fast enough. How to jump I think is fairly trash uh, for for daily purposes. We already have the razor blade, which is pretty effective for us. These Eve dailies seem to all be about managing uh, 
not just dailies, but oftentimes Eve runs in general, are just all about managing uh, Whore of Babylon in the most effective way. Map and Red Candle, I think we'll take the map. That at least allows us to have uh, some vision and maybe a little bit of an easier chance finding secret rooms. Like, that really feels like the secret room. It'll just validate what I'm what I'm thinking when I have a hunch there. Um, and could speed us up later in the run if I need it. And if we get the compass, well, they synergize quite nicely. Black Lotus uh, will follow up into a razor blade here. I would really like to have uh, an arcade show up on the next floor, because an IV bag is better than the razor blade from a daily perspective. We're still waiting for our seam here, by the way. So it goes to Mom's heart. That means we're looking for a self-sacrifice room or an AWAS room to pop once we get down there. I also realized, for the second time in like as many videos, I keep talking about what we're going to do on the hush fight. It only goes to Mom's heart. There is no hush fight. So we don't have to sweat that at all. Good, good. Almost walked on the spikes there. I'm feeling sharp right now, honestly. That was a tight dodge in there. There's five cents, so we can go to our... Uh, or we can't have a chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. I easily could have thought this was our uh, secret room as well. This one is a little bit of a, a double uh, rendezvous here. That's uh, my favorite Ashley Judd film. It's Ashley Judd, Judge Reinhold, Judge Clarence Thomas. Um, Mike Judge wrote it, you know, from King of the Hill and Office Space. Um, it actually won the Grand Jury Prize, weirdly enough, at, at the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, the Cannes Film Festival, all films had to be uh, about cans. It's a movie about a canning facility in, in typical Mike Judge fashion. This joke's gone a little bit off the rails here. It's not about trains. This isn't the, the Choo Choo Film Festival. So Stud Finder? It, it gives us a better chance of finding like black markets, right? As much as I actually like Liberty Cap, I've got to realize uh, and my own weaknesses. And, and one of my own weaknesses is that uh, I don't understand trinkets uh, 100%. And as a result, I think I have a chance to miss out on useful seams there. So let's uh, instead endeavor not to do this and try to get a uh, try to get something that could help us. I don't really know how it works, but even not knowing how it works, it may help us considerably here, or it may not. There's those are the two options. So I, I don't really care about how long we take here. It's not going to be more than like you know thirty seconds. We got a nice consumable haul that could end up helping us out in the future. Probably shouldn't stand so close to that fire. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. We're going to be out of here before 11 minutes. It's okay, especially if we get a deal with the devil. Not my ideal enemy to be fighting. Slightly tanky and also uh, fast, but we are actually quite tanky and fast as well. And we have the added benefit that uh, little Chad does not have, or regular size Chad does not have, of being able to hit enemies from far away. Sucks for you, dog. Okay. No deal with the devil. That's all right. Little Chad is decent. We can use the razor blade more often. Oftentimes, people do get a little ornery about my uh, suboptimal use of the razor blade. I understand how it works. I know I keep saying that it gives you a damage bonus per floor, like Bloody Lust does, but it doesn't actually. It gives you a damage bonus on that room. But uh, I, I should endeavor to be smarter about my use of the razor blade. Like, if we get a half red heart, why not walk in with one? Well, with one and a half, I guess, technically. And then uh, get a damage bonus on that room, especially a room like this that is otherwise taking us quite some time. Definitely we will go to the curse room. I mean, Europa, great Isaac player. I don't know how many episodes in a row on, on dailies, at least I've said that, but Europa doesn't fuck up runs. You know, the, the, the occasionally, like, suboptimal runs. But uh, no, like, complete capitulation, just, like, totally dying. It's a remarkably consistent, high-level play. Um, but I think on from a mechanic standpoint, we're up there. And I, I don't, I'm not saying we're better. I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, we, we can hang when it comes to, most of the time, not taking incredibly dumb amounts of damage. And, uh, you know, making the right decisions for items and stuff like that. But, from a, um, a strategic standpoint, we're like an order of magnitude, well, maybe not an order of magnitude, that's a little hyperbolic, but we're considerably worse. And that's what I'm trying to improve upon here. This feels like a secret room to me. I think we have made big strides lately, like, even yesterday's daily where I got a uh, fucking zero, um, should have been a much better score. And I think we qualified, or would have qualified for a much better score. Maybe like a top 
top 5%, I'd say, because we were going to do the teleport. But who knows how many people were, uh, were victim to that one yesterday. I don't know. Probably some of you out there watching this were pissed off as well. Because the same thing happened to you. Uh, not good enough, I'd say. Yeah, Halo's definitely good enough. And then we probably should have used that on the last room. But I've, I've made my bed. Time to lie in it. We may not go to our shop on this one. We'll see. I, I kind of... I'd like to make up a little bit of time. Oh, that was... That was a shot and a half right there. I'd like to make up a little bit of time. Here's our opportunity to do so. Maybe a secret room? Okay. Definitely a secret room. Wow, three of the same pill, which is relax. And then two, one makes you small. We don't need to take a relax pill. We will take this in. Fight the stain. Give ourselves Horror of Babylon. I mean, it's, it's a good amount of damage. I can't be too mad about it. I guess it also gives us Dead Bird on the room when we use Razor Blade on the room, which is not necessarily insignificant considering, you know, it, it makes up a non-trivial uh, percentage of our damage right now. Good. Cat of Nine Tails is sweet. I dodged into that shot that, from my uh, understanding, shouldn't exist anymore because the person who shot it was dead, but I guess that's not how bullet bullets work either. Um, we took my shadow basically because we could. And, the, you know, it doesn't get any more uh, complicated than that. We, we're not going to be using our Red Heart containers anyway, so it seems to make sense to me to pick up something that could give us an advantage. And I guess this also does give us an advantage when we use uh, Razor Blade on a room as well. Good stuff. Okay, more, more rooms like that, please. Lemon Party is a great pill, but uh, it's a pill that unfortunately we rarely get the opportunity to use effectively because you never know what's coming unless you have PhD or you've seen it before. But it can uh, it can clean house when it comes to a lot of uh, annoying rooms and and in particularly uh, annoying bosses. In particularly, nice and nice. Okay, yeah, we're making good time. Uh, let's go in here. We could have saved that with a, a razor blade play. Algae's rune. It's something, man. We could use that to get this card, and I'm gonna do so just to see if that card va is valuable for us. So obviously that wasn't like an, an incredibly useful uh, situation for me, but I thought it was a decent opportunity to try for a seam. And here's where uh, my shadow is starting to provide some effectiveness for us. I'll tell you what, let's come in here, start cracking into these. Get your death card out there. That is not uh, the value I expected to gain from death card there. So what are we looking for? Give me an AWAS rune. Oh, dude, that is a huge one on dailies. AWAS? Oh, I almost got teleported. AWAS? Blank rune. Blank rune could be AWAS. We have to hold it on the off chance that it works out like that. Then we've got, like, unlimited money here, uh, if we have unlimited time, which obviously we do not, um, from the head of the keeper. But we should probably start booking it a little bit time-wise, is my thinking. But this blank rune could be... Uh, our, our lord and savior. Just keep it going here. If we have to rush for boss rush, we can rush for boss rush. That's fine. I think as of right now... That's uh, one makes you small. You know what? We've taken enough of those, I think. Um, I think as of right now, we probably start booking it for... Uh, for uh, the boss room. Which is to say that, you know, I'm not going to do this room that's just off to the side of us at this point. Because we know that it's uh, it's not special. You know, it's just going to be combat. Might be a mini boss or something, but... There's also a, a decent chance that it does nothing of value for us at all. And it just uh, slows us down. This time we do want to go to our shop. If we fight greed, we fight greed. But I'm a little, a little spooked by the, uh, by the timing now. This always seems to happen, man. I get like... So far into a run, and I'm like, oh, we shouldn't be worried about time. We'll worry about time on the next floor. We shouldn't be worried about time. All of a sudden, I'm very worried about time. And then when you're worried about time, the damage penalty starts to starts to get you. And it all, it all I wouldn't say comes crashing down, but it's not an ideal situation. So this is my master plan to get around that right here. We have enough bombs to kind of do this. I just don't want to fight the double chubs because it's going to take us 100 years. Hopefully this is item room and shop, but if we have to, we can leave, not go to the shop, and instead go to our boss room if it's over here, and I would be content. Stompy, sure. There's value, not a ton, but there is value. This is our boss room, so here's what I'm thinking. Just kill these guys before getting in the Horror of Babylon state. Well, <laughs> 
You know, it's uh, surprisingly art, art imitates life, man. Uh, what did I say? If we get to uh, get to the uh, depths two at 18 minutes, we can we can still get to the mom fight if we really book it. All right, get, get in there, do some damage. Um, I mean, don't don't let me ever tell you I don't appreciate you, my shadow. But it'd be nice if you went for the the, the big bad here instead of just uh, you know some jerk off little poop down there, some turd. I am a little surprised I didn't get hit there. Come on, good deal with the devil. We got the screw. The screw's good. We're gonna head down to the next floor. I have to, basically. So we're skipping shops like crazy, which is not uh, synergistically good with Head of the Keeper. Neither was this curse room. Okay, we gotta make we gotta make progress, man. Uh, where would I be if I were a boss room? I would be uh, definitely down into the right. And I'm not just saying that because it allows us to skip some big rooms in the process. Um, this uh, Stompy used accidentally could kill us. So let's be smart and not have that happen. Stompy used productively could save our lives. Oh, it could break your heart. I'll send an SOS to Stompy. I'll send... It doesn't really function. Um... Okay, so we'll we'll do this here because we could do boss trap. Uh, seems a little frightening. I don't really want to do boss trap at, at those odds right there. Um, okay, well, at 21 cents. Hopefully, there's just something useful in here. Still holding out hope. This blank rune. I think there's a like a non-zero chance. Well, I mean, obviously there's a non-zero chance. Glowing hourglass, kind of a waste. Uh, of purchase and also swag bonus, but life goes on. Yo, why you have to be a jerk? Thank you. Sweet, speed up. It's actually something half decent. Get the heck out of here. I know we're not in Horror Babylon State. Believe you me, I know we're not in Horror Babylon State. I also know we don't have any freaking uh, orbitals to, to beat mom with. Oh, but we're already here. Okay, but we have to do this room, which is unfortunate. So, I'm just going to get through this room as quickly as possible. We still got Blank Rune. So, my guess is Nick died on Boss Rush. And that's not meant to be rude. I could see it happening to me as well, given the situation here. Trying for a quick uh, quick and dirty dry baby. Stars card. I mean, that's a way out that we could then leverage, but I don't think it's worth the attempt, honestly. It's gonna be like a long ass fight, but I'm I'm a little scared actually. That was sweet. That one was not sweet. Get hit by bombs, please. We're not gonna make boss rush. Okay. Time to think of our contingency plan. That's really unfortunate. You're like eight seconds short. So now it becomes about self-sacrifices. Ooh, that one burns, man, because I tried. I tried, but if, like again, not to not to be dismissive of it, but uh, if I'm not making it to Boss Rush, a lot of people are probably not making it to Boss Rush. Not because I'm better, but just because I play carelessly a lot, um, which can lead to also playing fast. So Temperance isn't gonna do it for us. Okay, you want to see what that last rune is up there, too. Hagalaz. <laughs> After I stomped all that shit, you're going to give me a Hagalaz rune? Okay, that's all right. We're probably out of the upper echelon as a result of our relative slowness, but uh, a lump of coal is pretty good. This run started pretty well, but it got a little weak as far as uh, damage is concerned, at least. So we'll head down to the next floor. Now we're not on a time limit at all. So, we probably should try to get the FC bonus here, you know, maximum maximum exploration bonus. Uh, still holding out hope that maybe Stud Finder saves the day for us here somehow. If, if Blank Rune doesn't work for us, then maybe we get some value out of Stud Finder. If I wanted a real Stud Finder, I'd just ask your mother for dating tips. <laughs> she does have good taste, though. Alright. I gotta admit, you know, it's... Um, you know when you're like in like third grade and you're about to cry? Oh fuck you, I've never cried. Yo, that's not, that doesn't make you any more or less of a man or 
an adult than, than anybody else, okay? Strong men also cry, Mr. Lebowski. Strong men also cry. You know when you're in like third grade and you're about to cry and then like, you know, someone's like, well, you're gonna cry? You look like you're gonna cry. And you're like, no, I'm not gonna cry. But you'd like everyone around you knows that you're gonna cry. That's how I feel right now with respect to Boss Rush. I'm not gonna cry because I'm a big fucking tough guy. I'm a fucking tough guy, and the tough guys talk like this, and then they get a little lower, and it's a Sylvester Stallone. Hey, uh, Apollo Creed's son, I'm gonna train you to be a boxer. You no, no, you can't do that. You gotta be a... I haven't seen Creed. I heard it's amazing. And as someone who already likes the Rocky franchise, ironically, and a few of them unironically, um, you know, I'm, I'm all in. I'm just making it. I'm making it a cheap joke, basically. But yeah, that's that's how I feel with relation to Boss Rush right now. Everybody knows I'm unhappy that I didn't make it to Boss Rush. It's like, it's not my trademark, but I talk about it every run. And then I'm going to be like, no, I don't need to go to Boss Rush. Boss Rush is stupid anyway. It's not even a good rush. The best rush is uh, Canada's uh, premier prog rock band. How did I not get hit by that red poop, you know? That's a, that's a wild one. So Or that, for that matter. Stop walking into those, please. Uh... That's good. I am not going to the curse room just yet. I want HP before we go to our curse room so that I can use at least the razor blade to get in and not lose uh, two spirit hearts. As far as uh, making it on this run, it really oh that's bad. It really depends on what you mean by making it. Uh, I, wait, I see our seam. It's Stompy Studfinder, isn't it? Stompy Studfinder also a great name for a male stripper. Hey, I'm Stompy Stud Finder. I'm, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a really angry carpenter. Give me your money! I don't know. It's, it, I don't work in the industry, uh, clearly. So it's, uh, maybe I have a rudimentary uh, knowledge of it. But um, we can still make something good happen on this run. I think we crush every rock that we can find, and then hope that we get access to, uh, not just black markets, but maybe like. Can you just, I guess, actually, no, the black market is, is clutch, because if it has a, a black market, the black market always has, like, a teleportation to the next floor, which might allow us to get past the wound, too. So, with this, this run is very much not, uh, how do I say this? It's not about mechanics at this point, although it would be awesome to take as little damage as possible. Uh, this run is very, very much about finding uh, the seam that remains here. But we're also going to try to get that maximum exploration bonus. As, as annoying as it may be, it is still like very functional for us. Pick up an extra couple hundred points per floor. I should point out as well, our score is like pretty horrible for a uh, for a womb run right now. Normally, like this is where you're at Oh, God. This is where you're at after, like, uh, Mom's Foot. I mean, we're not, like, considerably further than Mom's Foot right now. I'm not sweating it too much, but um, it's it's not a great score. But it's it's also potentially not a great score for everybody, and that's the thing you got to remember on dailies is, you know, everybody's subjected to the same pressures here, assuming they took the same items. Another seam that I actually didn't think about might be that, uh, that room where we re-rolled and took the Halo. The Halo is a great item, I think most people agree, but there are, uh, there are some people out there, and they're not necessarily wrong, who think that the Halo is overrated, so I could see people re-rolling it. Um, maybe picking up something different, dare I even say better? I don't know, though. I think we've, we've done this run pretty honestly as well. I shouldn't be using the Razor Blade so much, I should be using the, uh, Demon Judgment instead, but... It's okay. Probably unlikely to be a big deal. Let's try this. Get the invincibility and crack into those. I, for whatever reason, I was like, there's a 100% chance we pick up placenta or whatever shows up in the, that situation. I can't remember. That's a tricky room. Congrats, room. You got me on that one. I played myself. That was horrible damage. Uh, well, we basically got it back. Okay. Now we're out of here. We don't really want that. Uh... I don't really care about a second secret room. I think I will come in here and play this guy. Just wanted to check it. 
And I could use the HP. We'll try to use that to play Demon Judgment, maybe. Sure. Uh, that's invincibility right off the bat, so... Pop it and then get in here. Nothing of value. Okay, give me a full red heart. I don't care if it's an HP upgrade. That's also fine. The Emperor. Uh, unnecessary at this point is, is what I would describe the Emperor as, even though I like it uh, a lot. It might actually be my favorite card. Like, my favorite tarot card, at least. Obviously, stuff like Chaos is fun, too. Um, now I would really like a full red heart. The, look, the consumables are fine. We are, you know, losing points every time I, I talk to you, but there we go. So we'll take that. Um, yeah, we should double it up, even though it fucks up our invincibility. It still works. Uh, what is this one? I was really hoping that would be full health. Okay. Um, well, we're gonna get out of here then. That was kind of a whiff. We could get a better chance at a deal with the devil like that. We got a health up and a health down. I would say that is pretty shitty. We didn't lose too many points, though, one way or the other. Mama Gertie. Very, very annoying. Luckily, a nice uh, selection of my shadows here. Keep, keep working. If you can keep Mama Gertie from summoning another wave of spikes, I'll be thrilled. Okay, this, you're not really attacking anything right now. I have to feel free to point that out. We did get a deal with the devil. We got another uh, syringe as well. And Judas's shadow, I think we have to take. We may never use it, but I think we have to take it. And let's just head down to the next floor. So this floor is where, you know, all the money happens. That's not really an expression that makes any sense. But hopefully you get what I mean. We try to find a, uh, a second secret room. If there is no second secret room, then... It's going to be interesting. Wait, we have Stompy. We're going to stomp every rock. We're going to pop our blank rune. That was bad. Right, we're not in permanent polar invincibility, invincibility anymore. Um, yeah, we're going to stomp every rock that we can. If the Awaz rune, uh, presumed Awaz rune doesn't pan out for us, that is. Somehow that worked. Speed up is good. But we're looking at a run that's going to be in like the 25,000 range or something. Uh, not particularly impressive along those lines right now. That's honestly nothing to write home about. That might be like a like a top 5,000 daily or something like that. Unless I'm really underestimating um, the, the perceived difficulty of this run. Maybe I missed out on a, a deal with the devil somehow. Like I missed out on a joker card that took you to a brimstone charge or something. I don't know. Double key room? Is it five? No, it's just a bunch of poop. It could shoot it all, but... Also, decidedly not stoked that I've lost so much HP. Because that is going to compromise my ability to play uh, self-sacrifice room, should it even exist. We probably should look at that. Good stuff. Now, this is rock cracking territory. Watch out for the bomb rock. If that's a secret room, I'll be quite happy. If it's not a secret room, I'll be relatively unhappy. Because I don't think there's any way I can get in there justifiably. Okay, well, we'll look into it, but starting to get pretty skeptical. We should go back to the double key room and just walk over all the poop. I, I keep forgetting I have Stompy because I like rarely is it prudent to use Stompy in an effective fashion. Like, a, well, I guess it's always prudent to use everything in a in a uh, strategic fashion, but we also should be checking out these rooms on the dead ends. I'm just realizing we don't have the compass, so we actually don't know that there's nothing of value in them until we go in them. We wouldn't be able to see just by being adjacent, so. But I'm thinking we're probably looking at like, maybe not even a 25,000, maybe like a 22,000 run here, and that is, that is suboptimal. So, well, we'll check these ones out. I'm trying to think of the right timing for popping this rune so that even if it's not Awaz, it's, like, beneficial for us. I don't have a great answer. But it's kind of a whiff on today's daily. I wonder if we just missed, like, what makes it uh, special. I hope we're not entering, like, a new daily slump. There was a while where I was slumping a little bit. I feel like we played okay today, but, uh... Maybe we've missed uh, the, the 
thing that made it truly special. I don't know. I thought we played especially pretty well on the second floor, but maybe that's the problem. Maybe the problem is if you got the deal with the devil on the second floor, you miss out on the deal with the devil on the third floor that gives you, like, the dope shit. Can happen. We got pennies, at least. We got a pill. Is a health up? Okay, we can get it. And then, like, play the razor blade a little. Well, uh, I would, at this point, operate under the assumption that there is no self-sacrifice rune. So we are hoping for an Awaz rune. We might as well... Oh, Jesus. We might as well find out if there's an Awaz rune on this room. It's uh, Yera, I think. Our last ditch effort before we say, you know, goodnight to this run is, I guess, curse room. So we got two last ditch efforts. We'll go to our curse room. Uh, we'll do our mob trap room. Unfortunately, it requires us to do that. Um, and there is a full heart in there, so I'm thinking you do that. And I'm thinking you grab this and do that. Get a few uh, of these jokers spawned. Um, assuming we don't get anything that gives us a way out here, this is this is basically it. We go to the big room, we finish the big room, we try to crack all the rocks on the entire floor, and that's about it. Largely fairly disappointing, I have to admit, but... I... I... How did you... What'd you do, Europa? Was it Boss Rush? Was there a shovel on Boss Rush? Was I three seconds short of being able to make the dream come true? I guess when I'm talking about, like, well, I don't know what seam I missed, I probably should, you know, remember that I did miss the entirety of Boss Rush, so... Come on, Goathead, maybe. Give me Goathead! Give me Goathead Shovel! Dang it. Okay, well, we, we, we crushing rocks then. Can these ones even give you, uh... Even give you the, uh... Black market? I would hazard to guess probably not. Uh, okay, well this room's not gonna... Not gonna sell me too well. Saving Razor Blade for the Mom's Heart fight. But it will potentially cause us to take damage here. Nice! You found a way out? It's a little dicey, uh, temporarily. Man, we did it. Okay. Sweet. Um, I mean, there's no rocks in here. It's just red poops. I have to imagine that Boss Rush gave you, like, a huge edge on today's daily. I can't live in a world in which that's not what the difference was here. And as much as I try to, uh, to finagle, like, a little bit of a an advantage here, if it doesn't exist, it doesn't exist. You know, we're pretty much tied to the score we have right now. Skeleton key, by the way, is actually enormous for the swag bonus. So that's pretty huge. We'll fight it lives. Uh, I may just take some time to look for our second secret room. I don't know what the second secret room could possibly contain that would, like, completely change the scope of this run. Yo, dead bird, this is a little ridiculous here. But I guess what I'll have to find solace in today is that Europa put down a good performance. I would, you know, not knowing anything about it except what the score is, I would say it's a great performance. Um, and then, you know, hopefully it's just Boss Rush. Hopefully I didn't miss anything more uh, elegant than that. It was just a, it was kind of like a speed game. We fucked up the speed game and it screwed us. Or there's a shovel right now. That, okay. Wishful thinking. Um, well, a second secret room I would say is probably here. Or here. And there's a bunch of red hearts. Okay, it takes us back to like exactly the same amount of points. So, we'll leave. I'm not thrilled with the daily today, but it wasn't so bad. You know, we're, I, I think that's roughly where I would have expected us. Which is easy to say in hindsight here. But yeah, uh, there was a seam. It wasn't invisible. Kudos to Europa for putting down a great score there. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.